That's right. While most states in the U.S. are seeing a steep increase in these thefts, Washington takes that number one spot. According to a report from Bin Verified, while there is legislation passed that is trying to curb this issue, one senator argues it's not doing enough. This right here, the catalytic converter. V1 started out as a mechanic at Kellen Auto Repair five years ago and recently took over the shop. He says he's seen an increase in customers coming in with their catalytic converters stolen. They cut right here and here. <laughs> yeah, they just uh, maybe one minute to cut it up real quick. What takes minutes to steal results in hours of work and money to replace. Around $1,000 or $2,000. Some vehicle gas expensive more than $2,000. If it feels like this is a growing problem in our state, a new report from the public data company Bin Verified confirms it is. Since 2019, that three-year time frame, if you look at that, 10,000% different last year versus you know 2019. And then just in the theft so far this year, are more than 2019 and 2020 totaled together. Last session, legislators passed a bill that requires scrap metal buyers to have more documentation when buying catalytic converters and created a task force to investigate the problem. State Senator Jeff Wilson says it is not enough. What we need is action and we need a direct plan to deal with these crimes. And this session, I'm going to be more than happy to if I have to reintroduce some tougher legislation. While the legislator works to crack down on the issue, Wen says as a preventative, you can add a steel plate. You can uh, bolt on uh, around a catalytic converter to prevent the gas stall. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Though it is a deterrent, thieves can cut through most of a car if they want to, but making it a bit harder can help. Now, that bill to deter catalytic converter thefts goes into effect July 1st. And according to Bin Verified, June is the worst month for thefts of these types in Washington. I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.